In this video, we are going to take a photo of a planet 110 million kilometers from Earth. We are talking about the hottest planet in our solar system, planet Venus. 110 million kilometers may not feel too much. However, it is the closest planet to Earth. In fact, it is so close to us right now that you can clearly see it in your evening skies. So here I have come to the terrace of my home and there you can easily spot Venus. It is currently the brightest object in the sky after sun and moon and often people mistaken it for a UFO. I don't know why this happens. So we are going to use a Celestron Astromaster 114 EQ reflector telescope to take the picture of this planet. This is a cheap beginner telescope with a focal length of 1000mm which would be enough to capture planet Venus and its phases. These are some of the photos taken through ground based telescopes. You can clearly see that we never see the full disk of planet Venus because sun blocks it from your line of sight. And moreover, these images have no surface details because there are no surface details of Venus because all of the surface details are always covered by thick clouds of sulfuric acid. This thick cloud is toxic and filled with carbon dioxide. But these clouds also make Venus very reflective. That's why it is so bright. And through this telescope, I will only be able to see only the phases of planet Venus. Venus is about the same size as Earth, just slightly smaller. Its structure is also identical with an iron core, a hot mantle and a rocky crust. However, the crust of Venus is dotted with thousands of volcanoes, which make this planet such a toxic and cloudy place. Currently, it is the best time to capture Venus because it's on its greatest eastern elongation, which means it is highest in our night skies and as we all know, High an object in a night sky is less atmospheric disturbances it faces. To show you how atmospheric disturbances can disrupt our images, here are two images captured when Saturn was at horizon and at the zenith. You can clearly see the difference of how much atmospheric disturbance can disrupt our images. Now let's take our telescope on a hunt for Venus. Before capturing Venus, we'll first balance our telescope and polar align it for better tracking. We'll be doing manual tracking because I don't have a computerized mount. So please subscribe to my channel so that I can get this and this. So please subscribe now. We are using a mobile adapter to attach our mobile camera. So here we have Venus in our mobile camera and now we can begin our capturing the planet. While capturing, I realized that the secondary mirror of my telescope is not aligned to my primary mirror of my telescope. This means that I need to collimate my telescope. This is a major setback. I need to do this really quickly because Venus is going down. So now, after spending half an hour collimating my telescope, we can now start our capturing. But before we can do that, we need to focus our telescope and we'll be using my homemade focusing mask. Yeah, I know it's made up of paper, so what, it does its job. To achieve perfect focus, we need to make that thing symmetrical. So this is the raw video of Venus that we get. We can clearly see that the phase of Venus and its planetary disk. We are capturing videos of the planet using an application called ProCam X. We are taking a video of this target and not capturing a single photo because we want to stack all the good frames. Using this method, we will reduce the atmospheric disturbance in our image. To stack this video into a single photo, we will use three amazing softwares, PIP, AutoStacker and Registack 6. PIP's main purpose is to crop each image frame and select only the best quality frames to reduce the memory and processing requirements. Basically it's used for pre-processing of planetary images. After our pre-processing is completed, we'll then use AutoStacker to stack all the best frames in our video to minimize the influence of atmospheric distortions. So now we'll use Registack 6 for our post-processing. 
This is the place where real magic happens. It is used to enhance images by adjusting the wavelets of our image. And this is the final result that we get. And I think we have captured some surface details also. This dark spot can be a dense cloud formation. Many scientists suspect that clouds in the atmosphere of Venus could contain chemicals that can initiate forms of biological activities. Who knows that cloud that we captured may have primitive microscopic life forms. The image that I captured was beyond my expectations. So next day I went again to capture Venus and this is what I got. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.